would have to be towed. Um, there's no backup generator or anything like that. Um, but like I said, you get into the habit of pulling into your garage and plugging in this every, every single night just like your cell phone, that it's actually easier to run out of gasoline than it is to run out of an electric charge. Because maybe you're in a hurry, you're tired, you don't want to stop at the gas station, and that's how you run out of gas. This, every single morning, you start off to what's a thing to a full tank of gasoline. Can you drive no. I don't know. If I, I, I don't, I don't Mr. Know Shapiro could probably go, but you guys can't, unfortunately. I can't. <laughs> Mr. Shapiro, are you going to go for a ride? Are you sure? I don't need your parents' permission. I can call my parents and get permission. Michael, Michael, this might be your only chance. Guys, watch out. Such convenience and yet inconvenience at the same time. Miss Grinnell, you want to get in there? Are you sure? So this car is on right now. It's on. Would you like to get in? It's so quiet. Such acceleration <laughs> speeds. Is it more expensive than like the average car? Oh, um, <laughs> Our smallest battery is a 60 kilowatt hour, which is 1,500 miles of range. That starts at right around $70,000. So it is a bit more expensive than your uh, average car. Uh, but what you, oh, how are you doing? Almost. Future Tesla owner right there. Um, so the money you get back, you can actually expect to save between $200. Yes, this is an expensive car. Uh, but what Tesla is doing, we're designing less expensive cars. The car after this is what's called uh, Model X. We are SUV crossover. It's like an Audi E7 cars. Uh, it's going to have three rows of seating, seven adults, and seven five adults. Like this. Uh, and after that, we're developing a car called the Model E. Now, the Model E is going to be another four door sedan. Um, it's going to be drastically different in this car. That one to start right around the reason we can do that is because right now we buy all of our batteries. I should say we buy all of our battery cells and we buy to make our battery cells. Um, we are building
Okay, do you guys have other questions? Yes. Um, is it possible for your hand to like get stuck in the freezer? Want to try it out? Oh. No. You want Ben to try it out? No. Sure. <laughs> ben. Does it hurt, Ben? Nope. Oh, I was so scared of that. <laughs> now, on the other side of that is actually these motors are power enough, powerful enough for it to break through about an inch and a half of ice. Powerful yet safe. The engineers thought of everything. One thing that I do want to mention that Ben didn't really touch on is that this car is equipped with regenerative braking. You guys ever heard of regen braking? No. You heard of regen braking? Alright, so regen braking is this car charging itself. The way it does that is every time you let your foot off the accelerator, uh, this car slows down very, very quickly without you even putting your foot on the brakes. So what's going on is the electric motor spins for when you apply the accelerator. When you let off the accelerator, it starts spinning backwards. It kind of works as a magnetic generator. Um, oh, so what it does okay. is every time this car is slowing down or coasting, the car is charging itself. That's called regenerative braking. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can expect to get about 10 to 15% of range back because of regen braking. So it's never going to charge itself full. But what it does is it just extends your range a little bit longer. Also what it does is it lets the motor, not the brakes, slow the car down. So your actual brake pads can last three times longer than a traditional car, going back to a low cost of ownership for this car. High initial cost of ownership for this car, low cost of ownership after buying okay. cool. <laughs> yeah, You guys can go ahead. I know you want to. You do it. Go for it. Thank you so much, Evan. Guys, he's trying to show you the key. walk up to the car and it opens automatically if you have to keep up. Oh, there's uh, places on the touch screen to open that as well. But yeah, on the touch screen you can do pretty much anything. Ben, do you have a Tesla? But you can do everything like here on the sunroof. If you drag the sun the picture of the car with the sunroof, then it closes. I want to look. I think you guys could probably look. So, here, if you want to, if you drag the sunroof on the actual image of the car, it opens. They should make a test. Are, are they allowed to try? Yeah. If you guys want to try. Go ahead, Claire. Yay! Yeah. Hey, Ben. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we don't need anybody going anywhere. Oh my god, that's so funny. Take a picture of this and send it to my school email. Hold on, Pandora. It doesn't have Pandora, but it's a slacker. I don't know. Oh, and the Chinese. Sure, come out.
Okay, just remember this is like a hundred thousand dollar car. Oh, wow. Okay. So the only thing is we can't close obviously the glass on here or else you'll hit your head, but feel free to sit back there. Very carefully. <laughs> well they can't shut the door, that's why. Oh, oh that's like oh, so <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. Oh, be careful. It doesn't have muscle. No, because it doesn't. Oh, they're going to start driving back. Like, back. Like, no, they're not. They don't have the key. Oh, okay. As long as they're not in the car with the key, they're fine. One, two. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Where's the key? The man has it. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Smile. Oh, can I? Just be very careful. <laughs> it would be cool if you were shorter, right? Oh, there's the next idea, a little mini fridge in the front. <laughs> I have heard of somebody that lined the front trunk with plastic and filled it with ice. Oh, that was a good idea. I wish I was five or four and a half miles. doesn't recommend doing that, but I have heard of it. Wait, can we get strapped in? I don't think you can strap yourself in. You guys, they're they're too they're, they're too short. Yeah, they're too short for you. <laughs> Be careful. Hey, Noah and Yuri, why don't you guys get out? No, Noah can fit in there. Oh my gosh. Claire, well, look at it this way. You've got a generation of kids who are ready to buy this car. Tell you what, this is. I can fit in here. Claire, what are you doing? This is Claire's next album cover. Giving me the jitters. Careful, Noah. Noah, drive away right now. No. He doesn't have, he doesn't no have the keys. Stop you. He doesn't have the keys in the car. Sure. No, no, no. Oh, hello, everyone. Open. I'm in a car with Connor. How do you open the window? Window? Hello? Hello? How do you open the windows? Don't yeah. Is there a button? I, I think like no. Window? Don't you put the sunroof? Just okay, it's that. it's on the sunroof. Don't you just don't you just slide the sunroof? The sunroof. They're talking about the windows. Yeah. yeah. The windows are already open. So. Uh, yeah, but how do you? Like so, we can show you out. Yeah, I'm not gonna let it. Hey guys. What's up? Can we? Yeah, open the back, please. Who shut it? Benjamin. Benjamin. No, he's not. Come on, Benji. Wait, get it on video of the thing shutting. Wait, no, no, no. You guys, no, no, no. She's like, oh, too late. <laughs> And then you guys, we can also reprogram the trunk height. We can reprogram the trunk height. So now it's going to automatically open to this side. Is that a bad idea? No, let's, that's a bad idea. You guys, you're too, you're too big to be back there, so. It's not closing. I just changed the height of the trunk. I thought they were closing it when I had the there. No, no, no. No, let's not close it. Uh oh. She's no fun. <laughs> I'm just thinking $100,000 car that like 23 kids are playing in. Not so good. It's okay. It'll be fine. That's true. Can you the car drive the 
Um, you can't put the car in the gear. That's a red and Venus pull over. Oh, that's so cool. for the people behind us. Jerry, the gas pedal.